Oh, hi friends. Welcome back to Kim Pins and welcome to another bonus video. Uh, it is almost the end of April and I'm just going to slide right in here. Sorry, I missed y'all last week. And I thought I'd do a uh, get ready with me. I got my, I finally got my Ipsy bag. It took them forever to ship it to me this time. I don't know why. So I got some new stuff in there that I want to try. And I want to do a little story time too and tell you guys about the show that I did with Jordan uh, this past weekend. Uh, so yeah, that's why, you know, no, no makeup on my face. Cause we're going to do it together, together, fam. Um, also being part of Ipsy, I have like a bajillion primers to pick from. So I was going to pick one up. Jordan's show. Let me take you back to 2020. Do y'all remember 2020? Uh, everything was shutting down. Everything was being canceled. So Jordan's background, uh, he is a college professor, but First and foremost, he is a playwright. Uh, so theater is obviously very near and dear to his heart. He teaches playwriting, screenwriting, different theater things. So when 2020 was happening and everything was shutting down, including theater, which was pretty devastating for all the theater people, because uh, all of their stuff is being canceled. He was getting together with one of his friends to just do like gaming. Uh, we did a lot of online gaming in 2020. And so they got to talking and uh, his friend is a director, but also does a lot of other theater stuff, um, teaches at a university in Texas here. And they were talking about like, you know, what is the future of theater? What's theater going to be like? Because people aren't going to want to gather indoors in a group of people. So they got the idea. What if it's like, you know, one man show? What if it's a one audience show? So they started uh, Going Dark Theatrics, which is their theater company. And this past weekend was their first show. Uh, so big congrats to uh, Jordan and his friend Daniel for pulling off their first production. This show this past weekend, the uh, I, they have like themes for their show. So the first one they chose was Dante's Inferno. So the Nine Circles of Hell, which was just such an upbeat theater going experience. So they had a bunch of people submit work for different circles and I ended up doing circle seven, which is violence. So the, the seventh circle violence is, I think violence against oneself, violence against a spouse and maybe against a neighbor. So I went with violence against oneself and did, you know, a very upbeat uh, piece about that, uh, which was why it was so sad to film all the stuff for it. So it was a dance piece and I did a video component and I'll insert some clips where I was dancing in front of a video production to kind of like tell the whole story of the piece. We had a live performance for Treachery, which is the ninth circle, the one where Lucifer actually shows up. Oh, hey, there's the bath tray. Sorry, I'm easily distracted. There was Gluttony was a live performance, uh, Heresy and Anger. And then we, there were some other video pieces and a couple other like theater like pieces for the rest of it. What we did was, so uh, Jordan and his friend had rented this huge space. It was a big empty space. And we walked through and kind of, they figured out where each circle was gonna be. So as the one audience member came in, you would come in, so they came in and the first one was limbo. Uh, so you come in and you walk through and snake through the building, kind of like a haunted house. And then you stopped at each piece and had, uh, you know, the performers were there. Uh, so it was really cool, a very unique uh, theater experience. It was, you know, one, one person uh, in the room with you and we had this huge open space. So uh, everything was designed in a way to make it as safe as possible. I don't know why I'm putting concealer on my eyelids. Nobody tell Robert Welsh, okay? So a lot of people from around the country submitted work to be included in the show. And uh, Daniel, like I mentioned, he is a professor. So he has theater students that were cast, I think, yeah, all the performer, performers were his students and then it was me. Uh, so I hung out with a bunch of college kids uh, great group of kids. They were so much fun and uh, they thought I was 25, which is great. Really talented students. I had seen a couple other uh, productions that they had done. It was a ton of fun 
and we ended up doing, I think, five run throughs for the show because you did it each time someone came through, like you would repeat the performance. Oh, this is um, the first cream blush I've ever tried uh, from Milk. It came in an Ipsy bag last month. We got to stay in a hotel for the first time in a long time, which was so weird because like, I didn't realize that I forgot how to pack for going away. I was like, I don't even know what I need. I just like packed everything. I also just got in my Ipsy bag this concealer brush that I'm very excited about because uh, I did not have a small concealer brush before to be able to do this. So it was fun. We did a little road trip, listened to some podcasts uh, on the way up. Oh, my, my friend just started a podcast called This Song Sucks and they are all musicians, very talented, and they take popular songs and they kind of pick apart like, this song sucks and here's why. Uh, and so, so funny. So uh, we listened to a few episodes of that on the drive up and I haven't danced. I wanna, I haven't danced in a show I wanna say since 2019. So that was, I was a little worried that my body wasn't gonna be able to do it because I have been spending this pandemic on the couch and not exercising. So it's a little concerned, but you know what? I did it and I made a new friend, uh, Daniel's partner, Abby. Hey, Abby. Uh, so that was very exciting. I have the Baby Yoda palette and it's super fun. Yeah, I, I got to learn a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I never knew. So that was super fun. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna use the mirror on this so I can still face y'all. I have. I have this eyeshadow. What do they call this? Liquid eyeshadow. I got this in my Ipsy bag too. I'm very excited to try that. Um, what else did I get in Ipsy this month? Oh, I got a new mascara. I haven't bought mascara in years because of Ipsy. Thank you. Uh, but Ipsy, if you're listening, I could really use an eyeliner. So the acting pieces, we want to talk about monologues. These students, I don't know. It feels weird calling them students because like they're really good. I'm not I'm, not, I'm only saying students because they are literally students, but that speaks nothing to the quality of their work. They had to memorize these long bits. They didn't have anybody acting with them. So it was just like, that's just you. Good luck. Memorize all this. Uh, and they did a really awesome job with that because, you know, with dance, if I forget what I choreographed, as long as I don't show it on my face, no one's going to know. But if you forget bits in a monologue, like you might forget plot points in the story that you're trying to tell. You know, you might be able to play it off and everything's cool, 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 but maybe it's not. So that was um, really, really cool to see. But it was really cool to see the behind the scenes stuff there and to be able to help with all that. Uh, but I did tell him for their next show, I want to be uh, running around with Daniel's partner, Abby, helping rather than performing because <laughs> that's a little stressful. I haven't performed in a long time and I'm not used to doing more than two performances back to back, even though my piece was only five minutes. And let's try this liquid eyeshadow. Maybe I could put this on. And then, I, and then you gotta like swipe it and then dab it. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about liquid eyeshadow. Okay, what do I wanna do? I don't know, I wanna try this mascara. The Balm Mad Lash. Yeah, I like this mascara. This is a real rough makeup job, guys. But you know, we're here. Oh, this is a new, Highlighter from Nomad that Ipsy also sent me, which also Ipsy. I have enough highlighters. Um, I have more highlight than I think I will ever get through in my life. So if we could switch out some highlight for some eyeliner. So we did do a full run through where we filmed it. The camera person was like walking through. So it is shot in the point of view of like, as if you're walking through the show. So that will be posted this week. Um, once it's posted, I will link it below. It'll have chapters on it. So if you want to watch the whole show, but if you want to go back and watch my part a second time after watching the whole show all the way through and really appreciating everybody's hard work, there will, there should be some chapters on there. I'm going to say it. I'm a little disappointed in the liquid eyeshadow. Like I wanted it to be more like, blah, 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 disco ball. That's my bonus video for you. Please check below for links to the show. Check that out. Jordan and his partner Daniel will be having another show. I think their next one's gonna be in Austin. So to all my Austin people, you can come see that one. Click the link, support Going Dark. Uh, they're doing some really cool things. 
and really awesome things to bring theater back because while Zoom readings, I've watched many an enjoyable Zoom reading, it's really just not the same. Keep an eye out for the next show. I'm sure I'll be talking about that when it's coming up, so I'll post some links in my videos when uh, that happens. And I will see y'all, ooh, I will see y'all on Friday this week. I'm still a little behind catching up from doing the show this past weekend. So Friday we'll have the new video for this week and then we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming come May. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like this video. If you didn't like this video, like this video. Subscribe, comment, let me know. Do you wanna see me do my makeup more? <laughs> do you wanna see me do my makeup poorly more? I would, I would be happy to. Anytime, anytime. Bye.